try to draw a picture and work through it. So I'll, instead of writing this out, I'm just going to read it out. On a mountain bike trip to Gemini Bridges Trail in Mob, Utah, Nabucco stopped in a canyon floor to get a good view of twin standstone bridges. Nabucco is standing about 60 meters from the base of a canyon cliff. So we have a canyon. So let's draw a canyon cliff. Right? And he's at the base. So that means there's floor. Correct? He's at a floor. So um, he's about 60 meters from the base of the cliff. So therefore, we have now a location. 60 meters from the base of the canyon. Is everything right there? OK? Um, and the natural arc bridges are about 100 meters up the canyon wall. So I guess we have these bridges. I don't know what they're going to look like. But the bridges about are, are about 100 meters. If her line of sight is 5 meters above the ground, so that means she has a line of sight which is 5 meters. What is her angle of elevation to the top of the bridge round to the nearest 10th degree? Now remember, guys, when we're talking about angles of elevation, angle of elevation is if we have a horizontal, an angle of elevation is above that horizontal. Do, is her line of sight a, line of, a horizontal line? Is that a horizontal line, her line of sight? Yes. So we can create an angle to the top of the canyon. And that's what we're trying to find. So now we just need to be able to determine, well, what is the dimensions of this triangle? So once I draw a picture, I would just want to draw the triangle as is. Forget about all the pictures and so forth. Just draw the triangle as is. We know the length of this triangle is 60. She's still 60 meters away from the triangle, right? But if the length from the base to the top is 100, but her line of sight is 5 meters up, now the length of this triangle is 95 meters. Does everybody understand that? OK, so now we have a triangle. And now we need to be able to figure out the angle. So Oscar, when you have a triangle, a right triangle I may add, which trigonometric function only deals with the opposite side and the adjacent side? Tangent function. So you can say the tangent of our, angle, of our angle is equal to 95 over 60. OK? Now, we have a problem, though, because we're trying to find the angle. And does anybody remember what we need to do now to find the angle? Because we can't plug this into our calculator yet. Anybody remember? Sierra, do you remember what we typed in? OK, so I'll help you guys out. Yeah, the inverse. So to find this, to find theta, we actually can't use tangent. We need to use the tangent inverse. So I need to go to my calculator, make sure I'm in degree mode. And I'm going to hit second tangent, which will give us tangent inverse. And I'm going to do 95 divided by 60. And that's going to be 50, and I said round to the nearest tenth, so it would be 57.7. So theta equals 57.7 degrees. And that is going to be her angle of sight. OK, Blake, isn't that pretty cool? OK. I can help you out with your calculator. But you guys will need a scientific.